All right. What's going on, y'all? Got a crumb on my face. My fault. So I'm back at the crib, though. I'm going to probably eat something after I do this little podcast. I'm going to bed for about four or five hours. Get up, get back on the grind. It was a long, busy morning there. All right, so I want to talk about who's gangster enough to do this, okay? Hey, I know none of y'all gang stalkers, though. We already know y'all ain't going to try to do that. (laughs) About what I'm about to say. But anyway, this is a Ukrainian Marine by the way of, by the name of Vitaly. Let's see here. Myron Myronovich, okay, that blew himself up, all right, to keep further advancement of the Russia, Russian, Russian army, okay. He blew himself up on the Helichek Bridge, which basically is like a bridge that cro- uh, crosses from Crimea to Ukraine, okay. It's on that border. <clears throat> now, He volunteered uh, from his uh, respective company to set up mines on this bridge, all right, to detonate it at a certain point in time, all right? But according to reports, the Russian uh, tank battalion, they had half tracks over there too, had crept up on them um, at a time where he least expected. So he didn't... uh, didn't have enough time to set the mines up on the bridge and and to be able to, you know, um, to walk away from it. So he had really no time, all right? So I think that he set as many mines as he could, all right? And basically he had no other um, choice but to uh, blow himself up, okay? Or he would have got killed. And... Again, because of it, it pretty much uh, uh, slowed down uh, that that tank battalion from going across the bridge. I took a look at the footage, and it looks like it wouldn't have been the bridge would not have been wide enough. It blew about half of the bridge, um, but those those large uh, tanks could not have made it through that bridge. Okay, excuse me. Marin, R- Marinovich will be uh, awarded the posthumous hero award. So I guess that's a high medal uh, in the Ukrainian army, kind of like what they call the Medal of Honor in America, okay, uh, for what they call meditorious service. All right. <clears throat> but would y'all do it? Even if there's a soldier, an army soldier, listen to this, all right? Would you do that? I knew a couple of guys in Vietnam that did it. I think it was our Iraq guy that did it too, okay, uh, that blew himself up uh, in front of a, like a uh, machine gun nest, okay? Um, I do know one guy, he was a Marine. I think he was in the Vietnam War, had threw a grenade, okay, as he was being shot. Ran up to the machine gun nest, Drew a grenade, okay, it was a straight shot, all right, in the nest or whatever to blow up uh, that nest, okay, and he was given a uh, a uh, Medal of Honor for that, all right. I remember looking at that on the AFN network, that's the, like the Armed Forces Net, I think when I was like in Germany or like in the Middle East somewhere, um, when I was in the Army, okay, that's straight gangster though. All right. So I know some of the toughest guys that claim that they gangsters or whatever. Hey, you put them in the uniform, give them a gun. All right. They'd be scared to death and go AWOL. All right. But um, I got to tell you, that's a very heroic effort. All right. They call duty honor country. Now, some other notes. Okay. Um, Russia. I guess now uh, and put their army like on their army on a high nuclear alert. 
or I don't know why they're going to do that, but I'm just thinking they're doing that because right now Ukraine is running neck and neck with Russia, okay? Damn what, what the Americans outlet is saying. The Americans outlet is saying that Russia is just taking over stuff, okay? But BBC News and Sky News, that's the overseas news, is saying that they're neck and neck, okay? That they're handing uh, Russia's bus to them in a basket, okay? And that's probably because they know their territory, all right, better than Russia does, all right? And they thought they could, I think they underestimated the Ukrainian army, okay? This is gonna be a very embarrassing move. Um, I say not just military wise, but politically, if uh, Putin loses his war, and that looks bad also politically. I understand that right now, politically, he's on the hot seat. You know, they're protesting over there in Russia and all that, okay? Uh, against what Putin is doing. They're not agreeing with what he's doing. Uh, but yeah, I my hat goes off to this guy, but rest in peace to him and his family. All right, let me know what y'all think about this video, okay?